Hello, my beautiful besties. Happy Friday. Happy day after Thanksgiving. I'm just showing you that those three nails there were painted with that pretty light pinky mauve color. And now the pinky nail here is going to be done with this beautiful wine color. Now the color uh, 008 there, the, the mauve color, you're not really going to see a ton of that. I just wanted a lighter color underneath it so that when I do the smooshing technique, that you see some variation in light and dark. The thumbnail is gonna be blue, and there are those two nails with two coats on. Now we're gonna get a little more up close on those lighter color nails, and we're just gonna smoosh the colors together. We're gonna to use a purple color, this pretty whiny red color, and the blue color. And the reason we've chosen these colors is that we are working on our Sagittarius set. I have decided this year we are going to go ahead and explore all the wonderful options that astrology or zodiac or whatever you want to call it have in store for us. All of the beautiful inspiration, the characters, the colors, the star constellations. And that's what we're going to really focus on for Sagittarius. Now, Sagittarius is the ninth house, and so I probably should have started at the first house, but Sagittarius is my sign, and I wanted to start because my birthday is coming up in a couple of weeks, and I just really wanted to start with me. <laughs> so we are going to use the colors that are for the Sagittarius uh, astrology sign, and those are purples and reds or burgundies and blues. They also have orange in there, but I just figured the three were enough and we were gonna stick to that. And what we're doing is almost sort of a galaxy look with these. We're just using this tiny brush. Uh, it's dampened in a little bit of alcohol and we're using that to sort of dab around the colors slightly mixing them together, but still leaving them a little bit of their own flavor, almost a galaxy feeling. And it's gonna be a little more galaxy feeling in a minute when we add the constellation. This constellation is pretty big, so I could not come up with a way to just do it on one nail. So I spread it across three nails and at the end of the video, I will put up a picture of the actual constellation so that you can see it and decide for yourself if I got even remotely close. So now using this really pretty silver polish um, cream gels from Model Ones, which play heavily in this set today, um, I'm doing the dots and off, off, off camera where you can't see it, have a little map drawn out so that I can follow that as I draw my dots. And now we're just going to connect them, connect the dots. We're going to connect the dots with that same silver. Uh, you could absolutely do this in white. I just felt like I wanted to use silver. Um, you could absolutely do this with other options. You don't have to do silver. I just thought silver was a nice way to do it. And each one is going to be part of the constellation, just spilling across the nails. And here we go. I'm going to start speeding it up a little because there's a lot of dotting and connecting and also a lot of gemming. So we're going to speed it up a lot because otherwise this video was going to be really, really long. And it's not a lot of stuff. This is a super easy look to create. It's just a little bit of time consuming because you are adding a lot of gems. And so there's a lot of dots of the poly gel, a lot of putting on the gems, a lot of looking for the gems and getting the gems in the right spaces. And then you've got to do the top coat. And so again, I opted to do the top coat after the gems were on. If you choose to do them earlier, just be careful. If you do it over the um, poly gel, just really be careful because all all you're really doing is um, you don't want to you don't want to like drag it down. Sorry, I got a little sidetracked by my own nonsense here. <laughs> I, I I don't know why this is being shown twice. I don't know what I did here. Ah, 
bad. This is me making some kind of a mistake. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Guys, I thought I... Mm. Anyway, so we're just gemming these up. We're just gemming these up. Adding a little gems here and there. Little gems. Little gems. And into that lamp. Now we're going to speed back up again because, again, it's a lot of gems. A lot of dots, lots of gems. I absolutely love being Sagittarius. Let me tell you why. The thing about Sagittarius is that, first, we are half horse, half human, so we're centaurs. Pretty, pretty awesome. All in its own. But then you hand us a bow and arrow. Mm. We are the only sign with a weapon. We are, our arrow is to shoot true and to bring an end to the season of fall and bring us into winter. It's one of the fire signs. I'm very fiery. And the colors, uh, hello, purple's my favorite color. Absolutely love all the colors of, of Sagittarius. And I realizing there I didn't put enough uh, sticky, gooey awesomeness, so we're gonna fix that. That's gonna happen a lot. <laughs> um, and our ruling planet is Jupiter. Mm, Jupiter, coolest planet. Saturn, pretty cool too, and I love the idea that Saturn used to be a sun, which is an old um, story, I guess. Um, an old, um, I wasn't around then, but apparently they used to say that Saturn shone like the sun and was the first sun of our solar system. I honestly do not no, and it, I doubt there's any actual truth to that. But the idea of it, which is where Saturnalia comes from, it, and again, Christmas, because Christmas is a pagan holiday that was appropriated to be for Jesus. Um, not to make this too fine of a history program, but I just, everything about the Sagittarius sign is so cool. And then, of course, going back to, to the Jupiter thing, the things about Saturnalia also really get me excited and it makes me wonder why is saturn for saturnalia anyway saturnalia is in december the same way as sagittarius is so why wasn't uh, i just get lots of questions lots of questions if you know some answers let me know in the comment section below i'm just babbling now because there's not a lot to talk about with this we're just putting on some top coat Little top coat, we're making sure we get it up against all of those stones. Anywhere that I can't get too close to the stone, I'm using a tinier brush just to sort of jab it up there. You don't want to get on the stones. I won't reiterate that. You know. But we're just getting up as close as we can. And I do actually have to clean a couple stones off because I got some top coat on there. Don't be afraid to come in with a brush and just... Make sure that everything is the way you want it. It's a gel. It's not drying. You're not in a hurry. You can take your time. That's just the way I think we should do it. Just have a lot of fun. So now we're just almost done with the top coat on these uh, Constellation nails. They were really, that's the hardest part is getting the top coat up on there. I actually have a lot of fun with putting on the gems, so I don't find that tedious. Uh, unless I was maybe, there are some gem projects that are a little tedious, but I thought this one was pretty fun. I love gems. Oh my God. Speaking of gems, have you guys heard about the Swarovski crystal thing? <gasps> oh my goodness. We're running out of time now. We'll talk about that more next week. I'm really devastated. If this is true, I don't even know what to say. I honestly don't. It really, really is like the biggest bummer of bummers because mama needs her bling. Now these are not Swarovskis, by the way. These are just some, um, I'm gonna assume acrylic rhinestones. They came in those little 
those little round boxes, things that you get. And here they are, you guys. This is the first of our Sagittarius, not Sagittarius, Zodiac series. This is the Sagittarius set. Let me know if you'll enjoy these in the comment section below. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. While you're down there, click some buttons. It helps the channel. We will see you next week. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.